Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. An elderly woman walked across the bridge, stumbled, and fell into icy water. The other day in Congur, there was an accident that could turn into a tragedy if it were not for the 17-year-old student Nikita Sultanov. The boy is in his second year at Kungur Agricultural College. He is also seriously involved in sports. He is a candidate for Master of Sports in Judo. In December, Nikita returned from school, and on a suspension bridge over the Shakva River, he noticed people looking at the water. Nikita came closer and saw an old woman drowning in icy water a few meters from the shore. She held onto the ice block with all her strength so that she would not be swept away by a strong current. Onlookers, as expected, called the rescue service, and then they stood, looked at the sinking grandmother, and waited for the rescuers to come to the shore. None of the people on the bridge ventured into ice water. And the 17-year-old student instantly assessed the situation and realized that the grandmother might not wait for the rescuers. The current in Shakfa was strong, and judging by how the woman held herself, her strength was running out. The boy, without hesitation, rushed into the icy water, got to the woman, and managed to pull her ashore. Later, it turned out that the 70-year-old pensioner was returning from the store, and when she walked across the bridge, slipped, fell, and fell through the bars for the fence. When Nikita pulled the victim ashore, doctors, rescuers, and employees of the Ministry of Emergency Situations arrived in time for the incident. On a stretcher, they brought the woman to do an ambulance where she was first given first aid and then taken to the hospital. To say that a rescued woman is grateful for this brave kid means to say nothing. The woman understands perfectly well that the guy risked his life to save her. Nikita did not say anything to his relatives about his heroic deed. He managed to dry clothes and shoes so that his mother did not notice anything. Parents learned about the heroic act of their son when they were called to college to present letters of thanks for the good education of their son. True, there is a small dark spot in the hero's biography. For earlier misconduct, he is registered with the Congar branch of the penitentiary inspection of the Gufson. It is possible that after this brave deed, the guy prematurely deregistered. The leadership of the Ministry of Emergencies in the Kungursky District sent a petition to the city administration to award Nikita Sultanov a second-degree medal for the courage and dedication shown in saving a person, as well as fulfilling a civic duty in conditions of risk to life. Komsomolska Pravda was informed, PERM, and the press service of the Gufskin of Russia in the PERM territory. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.